Hey guys, welcome to the video. Um, so in this video I'm going to do a sort of unboxing on the Victrix Early Imperial Roman Auxiliary Infantry. Um, so I say unboxing, it is a, is a bag, but uh, let's rip this open. So I picked this box set up for, for um, my army that I'm aiming at Infamy Infamy. <clears throat> um, and I'm hoping this video I just show off kind of what we're getting in this in in this pack so if anyone else is interested in um picking some up they'll know what what they can and cannot do with it <clears throat> so I don't snag on everything there we go right so so command sprue as well as a load of other sprues so let's um so to start with yeah we've got this command sprue here which is um your kind of Centurion, I think you've got like an Optio option as well as a kind of a standard bearer. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it's an Optio, you've got the Optio staffs um, set up for the standards. You do have this here as well, which just is a stick, like a branch, which I'm not sure what that's for, but I'll have to have a look into it. Um, we Centurion heads and stuff, and the cape, which is quite cool, so I'll probably put a cape on my chap. Um, I won't spend too much time on it, but that's that's your your options there. Interesting enough that we've got the option. You only got this one shield here, which would be interesting. But we'll see. Maybe I give my other this chap a centurion, uh, an actual legionary shield. I don't know. All right, so that's yeah, that's the command spirit. Obviously, yeah, you got the bits for the musician as well. Lots of options. Very nice. Um, and then we're going to go into this sprue here. So. This leaves 21 <clears throat> um, infantry left after those three on the command sprue. So that's going to be seven sprues of three three men by the look of it. Uh, yeah, that's it. So again, if I get through the right way around, got uh, nice options for heads. So you kind of got your standard auxiliary infantry heads. And then these infantry heads here, which are the crossbar, I believe is a later edition. Um, I, I would say what they're for, but I can't fully remember and I don't want to say it wrong, so I won't. Um, standard bodies, and you've got the options of all these um, pelts as well, which is awesome. Uh, three shields spear and spear arms. I'm going to be using the spear arms for my chaps, <clears throat> um, as I like the look of that. So yeah, um, you do have like kind of a javelin option as well, throwing spears, which is cool. Um, it's kind of cool options with heads on spears and heads in arms. Um, a flaming torch as well, which I'm gonna definitely have someone with that because I think that looks awesome. Um, I'm not gonna spend a massive amount of time on the sprue, nor do I have to show off the other sprues because they're all the same. But yeah, the really nice detail on these, um, so I'm looking forward to getting stuck into and painting. I don't think I'm gonna use the pelts to be honest. Um, I'll just use standard inventory. So yeah. What I'm going to do now is uh, assemble all these up and show kind of what you can do in this box set. Um, so yeah, I'll cut to back to it. Yeah, so I've actually gone ahead and um, put these together now. Um, it's actually taken me a while to get around to doing this, uh, but I've done it eventually. So this is what I've done with this um, box set of the auxiliary infantry. So you've got enough to make two units of eight plus a five man unit. Um, and then you've got your standard, your musician, and your centurion. Um, you can make an optio in this kit, but they want you to use a standard infantry man model, um, which I didn't want to do. But I'll show you what I did. I actually did make an optio, this chap here, um, but that's made from the standard bearer um, miniature. I'll show him in a sec. So, yeah, I've equipped all these with the spears. Um, Really nice poses. I really like this kit. That's why I bought this kit because you've got these quite cool poses here where their kind of shields are on the shoulder and they're like trod marching along, sort of thing. Um, so, yeah, some really cool poses you can get with them. Um, you do have a choice in the arms, so you can kind of think where you want their shield to be a bit more relaxed, slung down, or a bit more out ready. Um, so, yeah, some really nice poses. Um, I did build this guy up here. You've got a flaming torch option which I thought was really cool. You do have some options for some severed heads. I didn't really like that, so I didn't go with that. Um, 
be able to kind of go torch, which I think is pretty cool. So yeah, that's your units. Um, uh, looking at this quick, that's my musician. Um, I'm going to quickly compare him to the auxiliary infantry musician. So this is from the, um, sorry, this is from the legionaries. So they are actually slightly different, which I, I thought they were the same miniature, but they're not. So fair enough. Um, slightly different. So that's the musician. I only built him up because there wasn't anything else I could really do with him, so I just built him up. <clears throat> Done my centurion here. Actually, I haven't given him my sword. I'll go back and do that. I've got a sprue somewhere. So I've given him the the beating stick um, and the cape. I think the cape looks quite nice. So yeah, that's my centurion. Um, and this is my optio here. So like I said this was the standard um, bearer body. But I've decided to make him onto my Optio, so I just found kind of a helmet that f uh, arm that fit and uh, giving him that head. So, yeah, um, <clears throat> now the only thing with this kit is you've got enough shields to do all your miniatures and your centurion, but these the standard and the musician come with little round shields, um, a bit like this here, this shield here. Um, so, that now I've kind of made this into an Optio. I'm a shield short, so I need to kind of find myself an extra shield, which, yeah, it's not the end of the world. Um, but yeah, so that's what I've done with this. Um, I've gone ahead and picked up another sprue on eBay. Um, some of you might want to do this just to make another eight-man unit. So it just finishes off that five-man unit and makes him a full eight. So now I've got three units of eight, which is probably going to be plenty for what I want to do. So yeah, that might be something you guys would want to do just to uh, kind of complete that your units um so yeah that's uh that's it so that's what i've done with this box set it's a really nice box set really nice poses i think i prefer them over the legionaries just they look quite cool in comparison and i feel like these are going to be a lot easier to paint because you've got the main bulk of chain mail um and the way i paint chain mail is quite simple so i think it's going to take me quite a quick well not, not much time at all to get these painted which which will be nice as well because there's quite a few here i don't want to spend hours and hours and hours and hours painting so yeah, um, I'm going to call it there. So I hope this is uh, being useful to some some of you who are looking to get this kit. I'd highly recommend it. Um, I highly recommend all the Victric stuff. They're all really, really nice. So um, And for the price, I, you can't knock it, I don't think. So um, yeah, I hope you enjoy the video anyway. And as always, keep an eye out for any videos I do in the future. Cheers, guys.